we are going to draw the constitutional isomers for C4H9Br. Now, 4, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, any of the halogens. My method is to treat it as though it was hydrogen, come up with those constitutional isomers, and then just figure out where I can replace hydrogens with that Br or iodine or whatever the halogen is. What I mean is, I'm going to treat this like C4H10. I'm pretending the Br is an H. Now, I recognize that as butane, which is a carbon connected to, well, single bonded to other car four other carbons, right? And each of these is a hydrogen. That's regular butane. But it itself has another isomer of methyl propane, with that methyl group being in the middle. If the methyl group was on the end, it would just be one, two, three, four carbons in a row again. These are the two constitutional isomers for C4H10. And I'm going to generate the constitutional isomers of C4H9Br by just seeing where I can replace a hydrogen with bromine to see if that gives me a different molecule depending on where I do the replacement. So for this one, I'm going to start by putting a Br on the very first carbon. Okay, well, that was great. That's one. Could I put a carbon on, sorry, a bromine on the second carbon? Yes. Is that a different molecule though? And the answer is yes, it is. This is one bromobutane. This one's two bromobutane. Can I put bromine on the third carbon? Well, if I did, then actually that just becomes the second carbon if you count from the other side. One, two, bromobutane again. And putting bromine on the fourth carbon here is the same as if I put it on the first one. You just flipped it, right? Now, I'm not worrying about chirality here or stereoisomers because that's not what I was asked about. If you're personally worried about that, there is another isomer for this. There's the R and the S version, but hey, that's not what you're here for. Where can I put a bromine on methyl propane? Well, I could put it on the first carbon here. If I put a bromine on that carbon instead, that's actually just the same molecule again. It's just flipped. And if I put it on this carbon, it actually ends up being the exact same as well, because they're just all outer carbons from that central one. But I do think it's different to put the bromine here on the central carbon. The only way I can actually verify that is by trying to name them personally. This is 1-bromo-2-methylpropane. This one's 2-bromo-2-methylpropane. Because the numbers were different there, 1-bromo versus 2-bromo, I know I do have a different constitutional isomer. There's nowhere else I can put that bromine. It either has to go on one of the outer ones to give me this molecule, or it has to go on uh, this middle one to give me that molecule. Ah, well, that's the end of that. Cool. There are four constitutional isomers for C4H9Br. It's one bromobutane or two bromobutane or one bromo two methyl propane or two bromo two methyl propane. Now, I didn't write those out very neatly because you came here because you wanted to draw them. But I said it out loud, and it'll probably be in the captions if you need it. All right? That wasn't too bad. Four minutes flat. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.